Tesco, you know, it seems to get a lot of headlines in some of the vegan UK vegan media about all the good things they're doing in the last, you know, at least the last year. They have this new Wicked Kitchen line that seems to be flying off the shelves of, of kind of vegan quick service meals. Um, there was a headline that came out a couple of days ago, I believe, or the last couple of weeks that they've set 300% sales targets for the next five years. Uh, what have they, you know, it seems like they, from the film, they stopped using hardwood. Where, where, where's your feeling with Tesco now? Is this? Can I, can I respond to that? Yeah. <laughs> well, you said it, it's fly, they're flying off the shelves. So that doesn't make Tesco heroic. It, it makes them business people right. because they know the amount of people becoming vegan is um, exponentially, it's, it's, it, it's growing every day. Um, the more and more people understand of the effect of, as uh, Tony was saying, um, on the environment, but also the truth of the suffering. So it doesn't, it, it hasn't stopped them. It doesn't mean they've suddenly become conscious, you know, um, because they should, they should, Red Tractor shouldn't be, should, should just be off limits now. In fact, they shouldn't be around. So um, I don't, yes, it's great that they're, but they're making money. The, the interesting point is that when these big supermarkets come out with, uh, you know, an expanded range of vegan products, on Facebook, there's always a lot of stick. They get a lot of criticism. But if we want veganism to be global, we want it to be national, we want it to be uh, an everyday thing, it can't be left to little niche health shops and so on, selling vegan products. It has to be taken on by the big people. 